In this video, we'll be looking at how to properly and correctly place an image inside of a document in Affinity. So without any further ado, let's get started. So basically, there are two ways to place an image inside of a document in Affinity. The first way is by simply clicking on place and directly bringing an image inside of your document and placing it. And the next way is to drag and drop the image from external files and folders inside the Affinity document and then placing it. And the next thing to note here is that both of the ways works no matter which of the studio you are currently using. So if you are using a vector studio, you can use the same two methods. And if you are using a layout studio, you can use either of the same two methods. So first of all, let's start by directly placing an image inside of our document. And to do that, let's navigate up to our file menu and then select place below. And after selecting place, you can see that a new finder window appears that asks us to select an image to be. I'll select this image right here and then I'll click on open. And after I click on open, you can see now that our cursor icon has changed to place icon. Simply drag inside our canvas and click on any point that we find OK. So I'll simply click on this point for now. And as soon as I click on that point, you can now see that our new image has been placed inside of our background image. And the next thing to note here is when we point click an image inside of our affinity document, the position or the point in which we have clicked with our cursor will be the center point of origin for the image that will be placed. Likewise, the next thing to note here is that whenever we place an image inside of a document, the placed image will be placed on top of the layer that is selected. So in our case, if we have selected the background layer, then the newly placed image will be placed on top of that background layer inside the layers panel. So next, I'll simply click and reposition the image like so. And in this way, we can place the image directly inside the affinity document by using a place command. Now I'll delete the image that we have placed inside. And again, I'll navigate up to our file menu. And inside of our file menu, I'll navigate below and select place. And after selecting place, I'll again choose the subject transparent image. And then I'll double click on the subject transparent image now instead of clicking on open. So after double clicking, you can again see that our cursor has changed with the place icon. And now instead of point clicking, we can also click and drag in order to set a size of the image that we are placing prior to we are placing the image. Or we can also set a size initially when placing an image by simply dragging and dropping. So after we are satisfied with our size of the image, I'll simply let go of the mouse and now the placement has been committed. And now I'll simply click and position the image inside of our background image like so. Now I'll get rid of the image that we have placed by simply navigating below to the trash bin icon inside the layers panel and clicking on it. Next, we'll see our next method of placing an image inside of Affinity's document. So to do that, we'll simply drag and drop the image. Now let's open our finder window that has image and I'll simply click on image one now and again select the image and then simply click and drag that image inside of our affinity document and then release it. And as soon as I release it, now affinity has automatically placed that image inside of the document above our current layer, which is background layer. Now we can also reposition again inside the background. And the next thing to note here is now the center point of origin of the image will just be at the point where we have dropped the image. Once again, I'll get rid of the image and I'll open the finder menu again. And inside the finder menu, I'll simply click and drag our image once again. And this time, instead of simply dropping the image, I'll hold down the option key and then I'll let go of our mouse. And as soon as I let go of our mouse, you can now see that our cursor has changed to place icon. Now what we can do is we can simply click and drag our image like so to set the initial size of our image inside of our image layer or the background layer. And now as soon as I let go of our mouse, you can now see that 
our image has been placed with the size that we have preferred or we have set initially while dragging and dropping. So we can simply click and drag and reposition our image at the center of the image again, like so. So these are the basic two methods, which is placing as well as dragging and dropping an image inside of an affinity to bring any image inside of affinities document. Next, we'll look into how we can bring or how we can place multiple images inside of a affinities document. And to do that, I'll now navigate to our next background document. And inside this background document, now we'll place multiple images inside of this document or inside of this image. To add or place multiple images inside of our document in Affinity, all we can do is open up our Finder window. And from the Finder window, we have multiple people images right here. I'll simply click and drag all of the multiple people images by selecting them. I'll simply click and drag. And as soon as I drag inside our Affinity document, I'll hold down the Option key. And then I'll leave the mouse button. And right after I leave my mouse button, you can now see that a new place panel has appeared on the left side of our Affinity's user interface where there are multiple images that we have recently selected and dragged and dropped inside our Affinity document. So now let's place them individually. So we can select any of the images right here in order to place them directly. And on the right, you can also see that our cursor has been changed to the place 2. Now let's start by placing people 1 inside our image. To place people 1 image, we can either point click directly or we can hold down the control key. And by holding the control key, you can see that it has given us a preview of how the people 1 image will look when we place people 1 image inside our current background image. So I'm satisfied with this. So I point click on this portion and now you can see that our people one image has been placed. Similarly, let's place the people two image. Now, while placing the people two image, I want to show you that when we click and drag to place inside our background image, we can also flip the image horizontally. For example, if I click and drag it inside the image, you can see that the sun rays or the light is hitting the subject from the right. But the overall environment of the image points out that the sun rays is coming from left hand side. So let me undo it. And now what we can do is we can simply click and drag again. And now it changes the orientation and flip the image horizontally by correcting the light. And now let me leave the image as it is in this particular position like so. Now let's place people 3. So to place the people 3, I can simply click and also drag to set the initial size of how I want my image to be while placing the image inside the background image. So I think this is fine now. So I leave my mouse to commit and now you can see that all of our images have been placed. Now let me select my move tool and I want to reposition my people to a bit on the right so that the guy in the back who is flipping is much more visible like so. So this is how we can add or place multiple images inside of a document in Affinity. I must admit that Affinity has put a lot of thought in even a tiniest thing while placing an image inside your document, which is a really good thing and is really helpful. If you find this video informative, please click on the like button. And for more tips and tricks related to affinity in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching this video and see you on the next video.